With only 2% of players still playing Jund in Modern, today I want to discuss what happened to our once loved deck. Understanding the current game plan, Jund is leaning in on Urza Saga, Ragavan, and Renin 6 as primary win conditions. Then around these cards are the Jund cards. Liliana, Thoughtseize, Tarmogoyf, and Fatal Push are still heavily played but are the last remaining classic cards in most lists. Dark Confidant and Bloodbraid Elf see so little play that they aren't even given a percent in current lists and while I don't think the one drops will ever be replaced, we can see some new instants and sorceries creeping into lists as well. Now, if Jund is playing so many busted new cards, why is the deck not seeing play? Reed Duke being the best Jun player in the world, it's best to start with one of his lists in the past. Looking at his deck from the 2018 Magic Online World Championship, we can see his build looks completely different to modern day lists. 4 Dark Confidant, 4 Bloodbraid Elf, 3 Scavenging Ooze, and 2 Maelstrom Pulse are great examples of cards you will never see in modern today. Even his sideboard looks unrecognizable compared to the current day lists, where the only 3 drop you would really like to play is Endurance. Looking at the meta, not only 7 out of the 23 players playing Jund, 3 Jund lists are in the top 8. It was clearly one of the go-to decks in the format at the time. Looking at the matchup with Bank Control, this control deck is unrecognizable to current day lists as well. Jund can clearly and easily go under this Bank Control deck, as so many of their spells are inefficient and expensive compared to newer cards in the modern format. Looking at other decks like Four Color Zoo, Jun can use its removal, planeswalkers, and big creatures to overpower this deck. And similarly, they can use this game plan against Black Red Hollow One. Now, why doesn't this game plan still work? Top decks in the modern format are loaded with cheap and efficient card draw spells, which makes it hard for Jund. Having the game plan of casting discard and removal not backed up by any card draw makes it easy to fall behind in the current metagame. Not only that, Hard to destroy permanents are more prevalent in the format than they once did back in 2018. As the Jund deck, you will struggle to destroy artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers from your opponents. While Jund does have answers to these cards, it isn't as many as the other decks in the format, like Four Color Control, which has access to Prismatic Ending, Teferi Time Raveler, Unholy Heat, and more. But what happened to the staples from 2018? Bloodbraid Elf is too low impact in the current format. Not only is it turned off by the Cascade Hate into Fairy Time Raveler, but a 3-2 Haste isn't as impactful as it used to be. It also doesn't help that with Urza's Saga in the deck, you're sacrificing a land before turn 4, making it harder to get 4 mana unless you have a Renin 6. Season Pyromancer is a much better option as our top end, as it not only draws cards, but builds a wider board to protect Planeswalkers and apply pressure. While Dark Confidant does look good, it is sadly too fragile for the current metagame. Untapping with a Dark Confidant is rare because of all the cheap creature hate there is in the format because of Ragavan, so it is better to play a 1 mana Ragavan and have that removed than play a 2 mana Dark Confidant and eat a removal spell for more mana. There are also just better options in the format that don't care about removal like Renin 6, Croxa, and Dothri Voidwalker. Cards like Scavenging Ooze, Maelstrom Pulse, and Fulminator Mage have been priced out of the format as their effect is not worth the mana. While they all offer powerful effects, you will find yourself struggling to find the time to cast these spells. So what's happening with the current strategy? I think it's clear to see that playing in the 2022 meta, Jund has a lot of hurdles to jump over. The aggressive and interactive playstyle of Blue Red Murktide, the fast and grindy strategy from Blue White Hammer Time, and the insane mana efficiency and grindiness of Four Color Control. Now it may seem unclear why Jund isn't doing well. It's got 3 New Modern Horizons cards and it doesn't cast spells more than 3 CMC. I believe it's down to the speed of the deck. Top decks in Modern right now are fast. While Ragavan, Saga and Ren are great threats, they don't apply enough pressure on their own to beat the opponent. With Unholy Heat and other efficient removal spells in the format, both our Planeswalkers and creatures stay on the table for less time, making it hard as we don't play a lot of card draw spells. With our best card draw spell being Seasoned Pyromancer or a Peatland, it is definitely hard to get card advantage. What does Jun need to improve? It's sad to say this, but it needs more efficient ways to remove things. With so many diversified threats in the format, you need a prismatic ending style effect that lets you remove a non-land permanent without giving them a land like Assassin's Trophy. I also believe that Jun needs a free spell, similar to the evoke creatures in the format. Being able to activate Urza's Saga, cast a Planeswalker, or cast a creature and still have interaction up will help the game plan a lot. 
While I believe that Junt isn't great in modern right now, I can definitely see a future where we are playing the deck again. As always, if you like this video, then please like, subscribe, and drop a comment as it helps me fight the YouTube algorithm. But that's about it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.